Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video we have another case unboxing and this time we actually have a Hot Wheel Case M for 2024. So this case just came out. I'm super excited. This is an international case as well. So the packaging might be slightly different than like a lot of the other Hot Wheels, but definitely still Case M. We're still going to have some awesome cars in here. I was trying to stay off of like a lot of the social media to kind of see exactly what's coming out because I do like when it's a surprise, but I did go ahead and look up with the Super and the regular Treasure Hunt. So essentially to have an idea of like what to look out for when doing this case unboxing. But before we get started in this, I do want to mention I am still doing a giveaway until the end of July. I'm giving away this Hot Wheel RLC 1968 Custom Plymouth Barracuda. Has an opening hood with a detailed engine, cool detailed bottom, real rider tires, Spectra Flame paint. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Giving this away on my website to one of you guys. So there's going to be a link in the description down below or shopmtparadise.com. You guys can hop on there. And a lot of the cars from this case will actually be available. But if you guys do hop on, grab some of these, you can automatically get entered into this giveaway. Like I said, it's going until the end of July. And everything on my website is 10% off. It's going to automatically apply at checkout. So you guys can pick up some brand new Hot Wheels, have those come in and get a discount and get entered into the giveaway. So definitely go check it out. Shop MT paradise.com so let's go ahead and carefully lay this on its side i don't want to really disturb stuff too much and then so on my site i do have mainline premium i even have some rlc cars even some super treasure hunts and regular treasure hunts on there so definitely go check it out and a bunch of other car related products oh there we can see there we go all right so now let's get into this case and see what we got this box does have some damage, which you can probably see it right here. It's kind of smashed. Looks like something kind of hit it maybe twice. There's like a couple of different impact marks there. And actually another one right there too. So we will see if these are in good condition because uh, usually cases can look beat up, but a lot of the cars will still end up looking pretty good. And like I said, I don't really know much of what's in here, but let's go ahead, start off right on top and check these things out. The first one's already kind of like shaped weird or something with the packaging. Oh, it's a scooter, that's why. So you have the Vespa 90 SS Super Sprint 1966. And like a really cool kind of blue, kind of greenish, kind of turquoise color. I really like that color. And then we have the Cadillac Project GP, GTP Hypercar in a new color. And then a Trouble Decker. All righty. All right, ooh, I know a lot of people like this one. Let's try to get in the, there we go. So we got the Formula E Gen 3, which looks really awesome. And then we have the Hirohata Merc in a new color and a 94 Audi Avant RS2. I do Hot Wheel races every single day with on my six lane raceway. And I do those in the form of YouTube shorts. And the, uh, and the Formula E Gen 3 is actually pretty fast. I've done some races with it recently, so you don't want to miss out on those. Let's definitely hit that subscribe button. But we got some pretty awesome cards in this pull. We have the Pagani Utopia, which looks absolutely amazing. I'm really kind of hoping I do find a damaged one of these so I can open it up and put it on my six-lane raceway to be able to have in some upcoming videos. We also have the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7, but we have a 91 GMC Cyclone, and the thing is kind of like the 90s edition right there and looks absolutely amazing. So I definitely want to get a hold of a busted up one of these. This one's in great condition, so it will be available on my merch store. But if I do get another one that's damaged, I would love to be able to open that up, put it on my six-lane raceway. It looks really cool, really retro, and I really like that. Let's go ahead and see what's next. Ooh, okay, so we got the uh, 1970 Dodge Charger RT, and it's a really cool kind of design. The uh, 2020 Toyota Tacoma, and the Five Alarm. And some of these names I'm getting tongue twisted with. Oh, that's really cool. Another one I want for my personal collection, if I find a damaged one, is the Toyota GR86 Cup Car. Thing looks absolutely amazing. And like I said, it's a GR86. I know a lot of people love those in real life. So yeah, this one's also in great condition. So maybe I will find a damaged one and I can open that up. But we also have the Batman and Robin Batmobile and then the Boom Car. Ooh, okay. Oh, we got a couple nice ones. This is a great case so far. 
We have the 77 Pontiac Firebird, which looks really awesome. And we have the 67 Lotus Type 47. Another one I want to put on my six lane raceway. It looks really cool. And then we have the Flippin' Fast, which is actually, there's a car on the top, a car on the bottom. You hold the little gray piece right here, just kind of like in your hand. And it's like a fidget spinner. All right, and then we have the Terratractyl, a Dune Daddy, and another Batman Robin Batmobile. Ooh, okay. We have a 92 Dodge Viper RT10, a 92 BMW M3, and the Hot Wheels High. Oh, we actually got the treasure hunt. Oh, wow, this is a great pull. So we got the treasure hunt, which is the Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Thing looks pretty interesting. It has the purple wheels there and like the flowers and stuff on the side. And the treasure hunt logo is in like kind of like neon pink right in the middle of that flower right there. And then if I turn this up, we should be able to see the treasure hunt logo right there behind the car in silver. You guys can see it right there. So that right there is the treasure hunt for the case. So that's actually pretty cool that we were able to get that. I know it's kind of interesting, not really in my style, but it's always really cool getting a treasure hunt. Not only is there stuff on the front, there's even stuff on the top as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm just going to set that aside so nothing happens to it. Then we also have another Pagani Utopia. And then we have a Diora 2, another one that I really love that I do want to open up one of these. And this one's actually like in perfect condition as well. So hopefully I can find a damaged one or maybe in some stores coming up and be able to find one. I just feel really bad if I opened up a really cool Hot Wheel that somebody might want to collect. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to be on my merch store as well if you guys do want to check that out. Oh, next up we have the 57 Chevy. The Mazda RX-7 in that Japanese police car livery in black. And then the Piranha Terror. Wow, I, wow, okay, I thought that was a Zamac at first, but it's not. Uh, well, there's this 73 Honda Civic Custom, which looks really nice in that color. And then we have this 49 Drag Merc, and that looks like exactly like a Zamac. They did the same kind of thing in like the last, I think, couple cases ago with the Shelby, and it does have a Zamac finish, and that is definitely on point with like how Zamac looks. So that is really cool. And pretty interesting that they do have that. Also, this will be available on my merch store. It's in great condition. Once again, another car I would love to add to my six-lane raceway. And then we also have a 94 Audi Avant RS2. Man, what a great case. Man. And then we have the Diora 3, which is interesting that they're kind of bringing this back. I haven't seen it in a while. And then we have the Ford Performance Supervan 4 and the uh, Revenger ST. Oh, this is the first half of the case. Let's go ahead and pull out the divider and get started on the top of the second half. This is actually where a lot of those impacts were on the package. So hopefully these cars aren't beat up too bad, but I'm kind of confused. Like the, it's kind of feel odd or the stacked in here weird. All right. So we have a Mustang Funny Car, which looks pretty interesting. We have a Volkswagen ID Buzz in orange, and then the 77 Pontiac Firebird TA. All right, well, actually, the cars that did take the brunt of the impact, uh, they're actually not, not too bad. They're a little damaged, but uh, we have another Flippin' Fast, another Terra Tractal, and a Rapid Pulse. So honestly, cars, I'm not really too worried about. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow, that is, oh, we did not get the super then. Um, so there's this 25, uh, sorry, wow. There's a 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7, but this would have actually been the super treasure hunt if we did get it. It's the 1996 Nissan 8, uh, 180SX Type X. Wow, that thing looks absolutely amazing. 
And that would have been the Super, but obviously it is not. It's still a great looking car, and I think that looks really, really nice. And I would love to add one of these to my collection as well. Man. And then we also have another Rapid Pulse. Let's go ahead and see what else this case has because so far this is really awesome. Wow, okay, it's got some... That's interesting. Okay, so we got the Cadillac Project GTP Hypercar, a 22 Ford Maverick Custom, and we have the Sushi Tuner, which is uh, obviously this car is literally a piece of sushi. So that's pretty interesting. Hot Wheels is uh, kind of creative with some stuff, so I'm kind of curious about that. But hey, maybe I'll throw it on my six-lane raceway and race it against some other cars, and who knows, maybe it'll be pretty fast. All right, we have another Volkswagen ID Buzz, a Max Steel in a really nice green color, and then a Surfing School Bus. All right, we have a, another Formula E Gen 3, a Limited Grip, and a uh, 1968 Dodge Dart. And actually, it has a really nice color. Oh, wow. This is exciting right here. Oh, my gosh. So we got the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. And that thing right there looks absolutely amazing. I do already have the regular version on my six-lane raceway. So I cannot wait to be able to race this thing kind of head-to-head with the regular full-size version. This one is also in, like, perfect condition. So honestly, I will throw this on my merch store, allow one of you guys to snag it, and then I'll just get one later on. I do have a couple more of these Case M's coming in, so maybe I'll find one in upcoming cases damaged I can open up. But that is available on my merch store if any of you guys are interested. And next up, we also have another awesome car I can't wait to add. But we have a 2016 Bugatti Chiron in a really nice red. We haven't really seen a Bugatti in a while, like a Veyron or Chiron. So it's kind of nice to see that kind of coming back. That looks absolutely incredible. And then we also have the 23 Ram 1500. All right, we have another Mazda RX-7, another 5 Alarm, and another 92 BMW M3. All right, we got another Diora 2, Toyota GR86 Cup, and a Ducati Desert X. Ooh, wow, okay, so there's another uh, Revenger ST, another sushi tuner, but we have a 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, and that thing looks really cool. It's in a really nice silver, has like the designs and stuff right there on the side, which look really, really cool, the red ring around the wheels, and that's pretty awesome. It's actually a uh, plumbing and heating kind of like sales looking car that's kind of interesting the theme they went with that but that's pretty cool obviously ford lightning is super iconic and things are pretty awesome in real life all right oh wow okay we got another cool car this pull there's the limited grip but we also have the chevy silverado i know a lot of people love trucks so they're probably really excited about that one and we have another batman robin batmobile And I feel like the last three cars. Wow. Okay. That's a. Wow. What a great pull in the last three. We have a, another Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. And this thing. Oh, it's actually. <laughs> it does have damage on it. Uh, that corner right there is kind of messed up. So I will be able to honestly hold on to that, open it up. Like I said, I do have another Case M coming in. So I will have more of these available on my merch store. And as the video goes live, they should already already they should already all be on there. So definitely stay tuned for that. I actually have the other box coming in today. So maybe after I film this one, I'll film the other video. It'll be live very soon. But then we also have, which looks really cool, we got a quick bite and a really cool design. I'm trying to think of what. Oh, I guess it's like a cookie. Oh, milk and cookies. So that's pretty cool. 
I really do like that. It looks awesome. And then we also have the last car in the case in a beautiful color. We have a 67 Ford GT40 Mark IV. That thing looks absolutely incredible. I mean, there's it's like a dark green color. It has decals. Obviously, it's a race car. Thing looks so cool. And honestly, the package on this for being in the bottom of the case looks great. So I'm really surprised about that. It's a little dusty, so I'm just kind of wipe off some of that dust. But this thing looks incredible. So that case was a big surprise. Had some really awesome cars. And a lot of these cars will be on my merch store. A lot of the generics are not going to be on there. I guess the fantasy cars. But um, like all the licensed cars and stuff will be available if you guys are interested. And like I said, if you guys do want to pick up some of these, shop EmptyParadise.com. And you can automatically get entered into the giveaway for the RLC Barracuda. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And it goes until the end of July, so definitely don't want to miss out on that. But if you guys did like this video, go down and hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see a lot of other videos with Hot Wheels. I do case unboxings all the time. And I really want to get that Super Treasure Hunt, but I do have a couple more Case M's coming in. So I definitely really hope I can get something cool in some of those, but also some more of these cars. Maybe some more damaged ones so I can be able to open up, put on my six-lane raceway, and make some cool YouTube shorts for you guys of racing Hot Wheels. But, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, thank you for watching.